Hello, this is Wes Blocker from Siemens. Today we're going to show you how easy it is to commission a PS2 valve positioner. So, let's go to the lab and so you can see on live equipment how easy it really is. This is the screen of the PS2 once it's mounted, air is applied and powered up. The top number is irrelevant. What we're looking for is the no initialization at the bottom. If you press and hold the enter key, it will take you to the calibration menu. The first thing it asks is what type of actuator. Then, where to set the ratio control. On rotary, it's always going to be 90 degrees. That's in the up position. We go to number four, which is no initialization. Press and hold the plus key, and it will start the calibration. It will go into five runs. Run number two is where it will fault. You adjust the clutch wheel here. You adjust the clutch wheel until in the bottom, on the bottom line, it will show a large zero in the middle. You'll be somewhere between six and seven, generally, but there are degrees of freedom. Press the plus key to start again. It will automatically go into run number three. And run number three will show you up and down times in seconds, three times. While it's showing you that, if you hit the plus key, it will do the leak test. This leak test takes roughly a minute, and it's very important that you do this. It's testing itself, the tubing, and the actuator for any pneumatic leaks. If it leaks, you're going to have hunting problems as time goes on. Once the test is over, it will show you a number that number will be travel and percent per minute. Obviously zeros are best, but that might not be possible, especially on a refit where you have an older actuator and older equipment. Anything on the right side of the decimal is acceptable if you have to. As we see, there's no leak here. That's as good as you're going to get. Press the plus key and it will automatically go into run number four. In run number four, you'll hear various pulsings. That's the actuator size being determined by the positioner based on dyna dynamic response. Those pulses are not factory set. The microprocessor decides the pulse length based on the response of the actuator. There's no adjustment in run number four either. It will eventually move on to run number five. Once the positioner goes into run number five, it's going to stroke the valve, make certain adjustments as far as the microprocessor goes. One question we get asked all the time is, how long does this take? Well, there's no set point, no set time. The difference in the size of actuator will obviously make a difference in how long it takes to calibrate. Also, if you do leave a leak and have to leave some sort of leak, it takes a little more time to integrate that in. There are no adjustments on run number five. When it gets finished, it will tell you finish, and then you'll be done. You're now finished. It says finish. It tells the full rotation. Now if you press the enter key, takes you back to where you started, press it and hold it, it comes up with a software version and it comes up in manual, press the button again, it goes into automatic, you're on the system now responding to the signal.